Hello all, in this video I will show you how to send a text message that is an SMS using the ESP8266 module. So this project does not require you to know any other microcontrollers like Orino, Peak or Raspberry Pi, nothing like that is needed. You just need the ESP8266 module on the Orino IDE and we can use the IFTTT website to trigger an SMS online using a ESP8266 module. So first let me show you the hardware. So this is the hardware required for this project. This is nothing but a setup made to upload a program to the ESP8266 module using the Arduino IDE. So this is the ESP8266 module and here I have an LM317 which is used to regulate a 3.3 volt power supply and the FTTA breakout board to program this ESP8266 module. So once the program is done this ESP8266 module can be removed from this board and can be used in any of your project which in turn will trigger an SMS whenever a particular task is performed. So I also have a mobile phone over here to demonstrate uh, if, if the SMS is received properly. So let me show you the output of this project first. So we have the program of this uh, project. This program is well explained in the article which can be found in the link of the description of this video. So uh, I have already uploaded this program into this ESP8266 module. To know how to upload a program or how to make this development board, you have to visit the previous tutorial which will clearly explain you on how to get started with all these. Uh, visit circuitages.com and in the search box type ESP8266 and click enter and there you can find all the tutorials related to ESP8266 modules um, one particular tutorial which will be very useful for you is this programming ESP8266 with Arduino IDE so click on this and uh, you can learn how to make this development board and how you can program this ESP8266 module using your Arduino IDE. So now the program is already being dumped. So we have the program here. Let me open the serial monitor and minimize it at one end. And let's also have the camera on the other end. Okay. So as soon as I power this ESP8266 module, you can see some debugging information on the serial monitor and also an SMS will be triggered to my mobile phone. So please read the article if you completely new, this, new to this video because the article would have explained how to program this and how to set up your IFTT account for making this project happen. So let me go ahead and turn on the power supply. As you can see, it is trying to connect to my uh, router. Now my router's SSID name is BPA's home. So it is connected and it is giving me an IP address and if everything is done properly you should get this message congratulations you have you have fired the esp event so i should have received a message to my mobile phone yes i have received a message as you can see the time is 11 13 here and the message has been received just now the message states the event named esp occurred on the maker device sms uh, I don't, I don't think you can see this properly. Let me try to. Anyway, yes. Yes, as you can see, I have received the message. Uh, yeah. Event named ESP occurred on the maker service SMS sent from ESP8266 by Circuit Digest. So this is how the project works. You can just modify a few lines of code over here and trigger this SMS when a particular thing happens. For example, you can connect this with a PIR sensor and when someone is being detected in the PIR sensor you can send an SMS to your mobile phone you do not require a Arduino or a Raspberry Pi to do this project so now I'll explain you how to set up the IFTT account and how you can uh, uh, I mean customize your own SMS to your particular mobile number and how you can get this API key and all those stuff so all these steps are again being explained in the article which is mentioned in the link of the description of this video if you are still confused you can proceed with the video otherwise I would strongly recommend you to read the article before proceeding so just give me a second okay we are back now I'll show you how to use the IFTT website to trigger an SMS using the ESP8266 module. So first visit ifttt.com 
so i already have an account with iftt if you do not have an account click on the sign up button over here and then you can sign up for your account since i already have an account signing up is really a simple task i'm not going to explain it so if you have an account already just sign in so mine my account name and password is already being entered so i'll just sign in After signing in, you have to connect with two services. One service is the SMS service and other is the Make a Web Web service. So first, let me go ahead, click on the search icon and then type in SMS. Under services, you will find an icon called SMS. Click on it and then you will be having an option to connect with it. So click on connect. and then you'll be asked to enter the mobile number so i am from india so the mobile number of the country code of my mobile number is 91 so according to your country you have to enter your mobile number with your country code so 00 should always be presided and then the country code in my case it's 91 and then my mobile number which is okay I have entered the mobile number and then you have to click on send pin so now it would have texted you a four digit pin so you have to look on your mobile for a four digit pin let's see if my mobile has received it now I have received the message uh, it's it has given me the four digit pin number which so let's go ahead and enter it you should have received some random number so let me go ahead and connect with it okay now once it's connected let's move on to the other service click on the search button over here and then now search for web. now search for web and you should find this web sorry maker web hoops under the services option click on it and then click on connect again and you should be connected yeah now let's go ahead and create an applet so for that click on my applets so this applet will be used to send a text message whenever a particular trigger is uh, is triggered using the maker web hooks so now uh, these are the applets which I'm already running on so maybe in some other tutorial I'll explain them but for this tutorial let's create another applet by clicking on new applet now as the website states ifttt means if this then that so we have to define a particular this action and then it's corresponding that action here the this action will be the web maker hooks that is if a particular url is triggered then in that that action an sms has to be sent to the particular mobile number so now click on this and search for web maker hooks okay make a web hooks and then click on receive a web request and then in the event name type in esp and then click on create trigger okay now the then part is declared now we can click on that and define that that part so that will be sms so search for sms and click on sms and then we have to click on send me an sms okay here is the place where we can customize the message we can customize anything we wish uh, you can type in your desired text message over here but for the sake of this tutorial i'll say that this message was sent uh, okay sent from esp8266 by car so just fine okay so you could add your own customized text over here but for this tutorial this will do so then click on create action okay so now the recipe is created and everything is working properly you can click on finish so that is it our recipe is created and it states that you have made a new applet so applets and recipe both means the same thing don't confuse with it so now 
since everything is ready let's go ahead and test it so now what hap what should happen is whenever a particular event is triggered by this maker web hooks an sms must be sent to your mobile number we have already customized this sms but what is that particular event how can we trigger this sms to know that go back to maker web hooks and click on documentation this is a very very important page where you will find your key which is the api key you should keep it with top secret because anyone with this api key can send an sms from your mobile number so be careful that you don't share it with anyone and then to trigger an event as i said earlier you should use this api key as you can see here this url will be used to trigger an event what event it would be it would be the esp event in our case if you remember we named it esp while creating the recipe so now we have to call it esp again so this particular url when triggered will send an sms to your mobile number so now you can click on the test it button over here and see if you receive an sms or you can directly copy it and paste it on your web browser click on enter and you should see congratulations you have fired the esp button so what we are going to do is we are going to program our arduino ide to send this particular url from the esp8266 module nothing else so the arduino code is again explained in this article i am going to conclude this video with this now if you have any doubts you can use the comment section of the article so that's it guys thank you